So we're gonna do a 60 mile road trip with these mini bikes on Route 66 from Kingman, Arizona to Oatman. It's a small mining town up in the Black Mountains of Arizona. So I hope these mini bikes have the gas mileage to make it from Kingman to Oatman and then back because I don't believe there's any gas available in Oatman. So I'm gonna pack this bike up and then I'll head down to the Kingman Visitor Center, the meetup spot, and then we'll leave from there. So I have 32 ounces of extra gas. I think it'll fit about right here. Got my backpack full of tools and water. And I pretty much got the bike set up, ready to go. So the first stop is to meet up with Dad down here by the Route 66 sign next to the museum in Old Town. Okay, so we are at the meetup spot, the Kingland Museum and Gift Shop. So in this visitor center, they have an all-American gift shop and they offer free travel information for Arizona attractions and operations. And the building itself is in the old electric powerhouse, which provided electricity or power for the area mines from 1909 to 1938. So from the Kingman Visitor Center to Cool Springs, which is our next stop, it's about 20 miles. Come on, man. Hi, buddy. Yeah, this should be a fairly easy ride. Usually out here on this highway on the weekends, I mainly see motorcycles and side-by-sides. Okay, so open 28 miles. It's really hard to nail down a gas mileage on these bikes. Even if you have two identical bikes, you still have the differences in rider weight and riding style. And then on top of that, these two bikes are modified they both have 265 cams, slide carbs, header pipes, built rod, built flywheel. One's a 212 and then the other's a 196. And then on top of that, we have two different gear ratios. So it'll be interesting to see how these bikes do. So this gas station we're headed to, Cool Springs, used to be the only stop on Route 66 before you head up into Sitgraves Pass, up into Oatman. So it pretty much thrived from the mid 20s all the way up into the mid 50s until they started building new sections of Route 66 and then ultimately the Highway 40 which totally bypassed Route 66. So of course business at the gas station slowed way down. And then the final blow for this gas station was in the mid 60s it totally burnt to the ground. The only thing that remained of the station was fragments of the foundation and the original stone pillars. So it's set empty all the way from 1966 until 2001. So in 2001, the station was bought, and then ultimately in 2004, it was reopened as a souvenir shop slash convenience store. So again today, the Cool Springs gas station is the last stop before you take the eight and a half mile ride from Cool Springs through the Black Mountains into Oatman.
miles out of Kingman and eight and a half miles to Oatman. Yeah, they actually pulled this ride really well. And a lot easier than I thought. We were actually going faster or running faster than I thought too. There's like 30 and 35 and 40 and then 45. Yeah. We're probably averaging about, what, 35, 40, 40 miles an hour or so? Averaging about 35 or 40 miles an hour? All the way up here? And I got about, I don't know, maybe a little over half a tank. So I think we're gonna make it on a full tank, or pretty close. I think so, yeah. Yeah. So the Cool Springs Station. And it's hard to believe this thing burnt down, burnt to the ground in the 60s. It's like stepping back in time. So 20 miles of a 60 mile trip so far. a donkey in the middle of the road. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Let's stop and say hi. So we are at Sick Grave Pass, elevation 3550. Let me see if I can feed him. It's kind of chewy, huh?
some pretty tight turns right here. two miles to open. Okay, so we made it to Oatman. So Oatman is around 2,710 feet in elevation. And in 1915, it started off as a small mining town, but then two prospectors struck 10 million in gold, and all of a sudden the town started to boom. In one year, they said, the town grew to about 3,500 people. And then at one point, there was 10,000 people in this town. It's hard to imagine 10,000 people in this small town. Then in 1921, a fire swept through the town and pretty much destroyed all the businesses. So today they say the population is around 125 people and there's around 2,000 boroughs in the town or around the town. much gas we used on the way up all the way to Oatman. Man, so we still have a little over half a tank. I think this thing will make it the entire way. So I think we'll make it the entire way on one tank. Maybe back to Kingman. We'll see. Well, you can't even see. <laughs> see yours? Not a well, I can't see it, but... We can try it though, huh? Yeah, we'll see how far we can go. See if we can make it. We might make it. I mean, they're getting pretty good gas mileage. Yeah. Pretty decent. We already, what, 28 miles, 28 and a half miles so far. Yeah. So not bad. Yes, yeah, not bad, man. Especially with all these different elevation changes and stuff. Eight and a half miles out. I'm sure we can make it to Cool Springs at least. And then we got the 20 mile stretch from Cool Springs to Kingman. We'll see if we can do the entire trip with one tank. And there's a lot of burrows out today.
Okay, so we're at the summit again. Sick Grave Pass, 3550 elevation. Heading back down the other side. So now we have a final 20 mile leg. Can we do it with one tank? <laughs> Not this guy, no. <laughs> but maybe, because let's look. I don't know, man. That'd be 60 miles per gallon. Right? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, oh that'd be so awesome. Look at that. So you can still see it on the screen, but I'm not sure if that's enough to make it back. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. I went through one tank. So you went through one tank? Yep, like bare and partially back. But it's still pretty good, so that's like 36 or 7 or 8 miles, 38 miles or something? Give or take. Yeah, give or take. Not too bad. So close to 40 miles, that's not bad. Yeah. Especially for a modded 212. Yeah. You know, pretty good. But anyway, so I guess we'll see if we can make that final leg. 20 miles, I might be pushing. Oh, we got this. Alright, let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can make it. 20 miles back to Kingman, which I doubt, but you never know. See if I can take it nice and smooth and steady to get the optimum gas mileage. And hopefully there's no headwind. It kind of feels like it a little bit. about 10 miles so far out of Cool Springs. So we got about another 10 to go, I think. <laughs> We're on the outskirts of Kingman right now. We're running along the 40 right here. So right now we're a couple miles away from the visitor center, I think. A few miles, not too far out. We are close. So we finally ran out of gas. I think we're pretty close to a mile out. Maybe less. And I do it to it. Okay, we are off. And like I said, I think we're about a mile out. So we almost made it all the way, which is pretty cool.
today I think we we're about a half mile away from the visitor center I mean it was like right here So we literally almost made it the entire way on one tank. So we made it back in one piece with no major issues and the bike's got excellent gas mileage. I mean, they did pretty well. Perfect day, not much traffic. So definitely a fun ride.